Let us look at second way to get the integral of 1 over 1 minus 10 square x. We can write 10 square x as sine square x over cosine square x. The common denominator will be cos square x here, then 1 here you get cos square x minus sine square x. Flip it upstairs, you get cos square x, downstairs is cos square x minus sine square x. Write the cos square x in terms of double angle formula for cosine, it will be 1 plus cos 2x divided by 2. Downstairs is also uh, another uh, double angle formula for cosine, which is cos 2x. Half out of the integral, and then you have integral of 1 plus cos 2x divided by cos 2x. Now, there are two terms, one term for a second term. First term, 1 over cos 2x. Second term, cancel, you get 1. Write this as sec 2x plus 1. And then integral sum, sum integral. And then for this integral, this uh, is, is a, a standard trick. Multiply top and bottom with sec 2x plus tangent 2x. And here, integral to cancel, you get x. Now, notice that this is sec square x, and then this is sec, x, sec 2x tangent 2x. The derivative of sec 2x is sec 2x tangent 2x times the derivative of 2x is 2, but there's no 2 here, you need a half. Similarly, uh, derivative of tangent x tangent 2x is sec square 2x times the derivative of 2x is 2. There's no 2, so you need a half. So you need, there's a half here, there's a half here. Pull out the common half, you put it here. So this whole thing is the same thing as that. Half out of the integral. And then you have integral d sec 2x plus 10 2x over that. That is ln absolute sec 2x plus 10 2x. Don't forget the plus x here. Plus c. And then there's half here. Done. Thank you for watching. Hope video is informative helpful. Before you go, make sure to subscribe, share, comment, and don't forget to hit or smash the like button. See you.